All right, let's look at the classic radical reaction that is always taught in introductory organic chemistry. This is the halogenation of alkanes. Classic, classic reaction. Um, very important in, in, in industry. So we could take an alkane. Let's take a, the simplest alkane, um, methane. And we can treat it with chlorine. And if we do this in the presence of light, when people do things in light, it's, all, it's almost always a radical reaction. So um, methane plus chlorine actually gives us um, an alkyl halide, in this case, methyl chloride. So we, we started this um, organic chemistry off, learning a little bit of acid-base chemistry, and then going straight to reactions like the SN2 reaction, which re, SN2 reaction, which requires an alkyl halide like chloromethane. Um, we never answered how you make those. Well, you make them through radical halogenations, typically, of alkanes. So let's look at this uh, through the lens of our different steps. So what, what is the initiation step for this? In the initiation step, chlorine undergoes a reaction um, in the presence of light, and the light has the right energy to break that chlorine-chlorine bond, and so we form two radicals. This, this is an initiation process increases the concentration of radicals, therefore it's initiate and it is an initiation process. Okay, let's think about the propagation steps in this reaction. So we're going to take one of these newly formed radicals and we're going to react it with methane. And this chlorine is going to attack one of these CHs. And we are going to break that CH bond. We're going to form a new radical, a methyl radical, plus some HCl. So notice this is a propagation step. There should be no net change in the concentration of radicals, and there's not. We destroyed a radical, Cl dot, but we made a new one, um, CH3 dot. So what happens to this? Well, as it turns out, once we form that methyl radical, it reacts with chlorine, Cl2. And the carbon says, I shall attack one of those chlorines. And that breaks the CL, uh, CL bond. And we form our product, chloromethane, plus we reform a new radical. Again, this is a propagation step. One radical goes in, one radical comes back out. So if we've done everything properly, we ought to be able to take our propagation steps, add them up, and what should fall out will be the net reaction that we put at the top of the slide. So let's look at these two. We have a chlorine radical and a chlorine radical. They appear on both sides of uh, equations in the propagation steps, so we can cancel those. We have a methyl radical and a methyl radical. Both of those will cancel out. Every, nothing else cancels out. So what do we get? We get, we put in CH4, we put in Cl2, and that takes care of these two items. And then we get at the other end, CH3Cl, our desired product, plus HCl. And that is our, this is our net reaction. And it falls out of our propagation steps. And it matches, most importantly, it matches what we said. Now, there's also going to be um, termination pro there will also be termination processes. These can involve, involve any combining any two radicals that we see in any of our steps. So one possible uh, termination step could be what if two methyl radicals combined and they made ethane. That's a completely valid termination product. Not very likely, but, but it's possible. So th this is an important reaction, um, the halogenation of alkanes. It, it typically occurs just as we've shown here. We take an alkane, we react it with Cl2 at the top of the screen in the presence of light, and we get our halogenated alkane. And it goes through all the steps that radical reactions should follow, initiation, propagation, and termination.